when you're controlling is only when you are getting the other person to do what you want for the sake of your own satisfaction. Physical satisfaction. Physical satisfaction or otherwise. Like, um, for instance, you might want a deep soul sex and you're allowed to have deep soul sex. But if the man only wants physical sex, you're of course allowed to say no. Right? You're allowed to do that. There's no harm in that. And um, obviously, if you're like already engaged in the sex act, and um, let yourself work through the issue, like what's going on. If you're not, if you're not, like, like I feel that there are there are times when I've stopped having sex with Mary in the middle of it because of an emotion that one of us have felt, and I've said no, I can't do this anymore. We've got to deal with this emotion. Now, if the emotion is you're not receiving any love from the person and you're just feeling the physical body banging against you, then obviously that person's got some issues to work through and you've got some issues to work through with your law of attraction about it. Does that make sense? So so stop the act, work through the issues. Just with, um, like, you know, female and male, the differences in arousal? No, so I'm sorry, I don't agree with any differences in arousal. Um, one thing I'd like to say to all of you is this difference between male and female differences in arousal is totally dependent upon intergenerational emotions. Do you want to know what I mean by that? The generational emotions are men do not have um, injuries regarding being abused by sex generally. They, have, they were the abusers. So they don't have too many hang-ups about getting aroused they have a lot of problems about treating the woman lovingly, generally. The women have had many, many, intergener in, intergenerationally, every generation of women has generally been quite abused sexually, right? And harmed sexually. And because of that, in many women, there is this deep anger and rage towards men, understandably so. The key is to not take it out on the man you're with, but to actually deal with it emotionally to actually release the emotion. When you release the emotion as a woman, your arousal and your orgasm will happen just as fast as any man. Right? No, it's emotional. The reason why it's emotional, most women are not getting a soul connection in sex and they're more sensitive to a soul connection in sex than a man. The reason why is because the men were the abusers and they are less connected to the soul condition than that woman is. So why the woman, so the feeling from the woman, the reason why the woman is finding it so hard to become aroused generally is because of all of these injuries about being abused and about being hurt and wanting a deep soul connection and not getting it, right? And this is where the man needs to work on. The man needs to work on why he doesn't want to give a deep soul connection, why he just feels that sex is a physical act and so forth. When both of them work through those issues, the woman will become aroused just as fast as the man and orgasm just as fast as the man. And have the same libido as a man. That's a bit of a shock for some. Yeah. But it's understandable, isn't it? Like, obviously in a soul union state, you think about it, there has to be the same amount of emotions going back and forth between the woman and the man. So if that's the case, all of those sexual injuries would have to be healed and would have the same response. In the end, in the soul union state, you will have the same response to every stimuli as your soulmate. It doesn't mean you're one person in the sense of physical person, but together you are one being, one entity in the way you interact with everything. <coughs> 